So we've got this clip here, courtesy of the Joe Rogan Forum. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, the title is this. Civilians are uninformed wage slaves. Dr. To Togan on the other end, thank them. This is in relation to that clip I played to you in the last stream. No, it's fine. The kids subreddit, sorry. Where um, Joe Rogan was saying something like, oh, um, only comedians can be informed. Regular civilians can't because we're too busy with jobs and work and stuff. So we can't be informed on things that are going on, um, which is why comedians are there to like, you know, um, distill all that information on the stage and make jokes out of it or talk about it on podcasts. Like really insane, you know, point of view and really really lacking self self-awareness and obviously an indication of just how in the clouds rogan and those guys are because essentially most of these guys have been multi-millionaires for like more than two decades of their lives and they haven't really had to worry about the you know the plight of the, the of the regular man on the street and shit so they create all these weird narratives in their head to kind of justify their weird existence anyway let's play this clip because i think this does a good job of kind of making a mockery of this whole stance from Rogan because he's meant to be well informed, but he's also the same guy like your mums, like your aunties, like your dads and stuff who reads news on Facebook, reads the headline and believes it to be real. You know, he gets caught by that stuff so often. So it's funny to hear him say regular civilians are not informed when in fact he's got all the time in the world and still gets things right wrong more often than he gets it right. 40 years old, you got a mortgage, you got kids, you, you, you're working all day, you don't have time. You don't have time to be paying attention to this shit. You know, we're very fortunate that we're comics, so we have the day to do whatever the fuck we want. And we can read things that maybe, you know, <laughs> we send each other or watch a documentary or something, get a new perspective. But the more... My friend, his wife, is a school teacher. She works at a school that had to install a litter box. <laughs> Imagine how crazy that is. You're a fucking human being, and you prefer a litter box? You've conned the school yeah. into putting this fucking litter box in a girl's room. Yeah. Which is bananas! It is. It's absolutely insane. The kitty litter boxes is a weird one. We should probably clarify that a little bit. I don't think they actually did it. It doesn't seem that there's any proof that they put a litter box in. <laughs> he's such an idiot <laughs> honestly have you have you never been that's how you could tell rogan's also never been you know a reg never been a regular guy for a long time because he's been successful and rich for a long time which is obviously down to his hard work and talent so give him all the credit for that but how many times have you been on the morning commute and you've seen somebody with their phone or their laptop watching a fucking documentary or watching a series or whatever like people watch stuff all the time on their lunch breaks at home on the weekends after work while they're at work like he's acting as if like documentaries are like so hard to read are so hard to watch if you have a regular job or a family um as if you can't be fucking rocking a baby and watching something you know at the same time as if you can't be working and listening to your podcast or listening to the audiobook at the same time this guy is insane if anything regular people are probably more informed than podcasters because we have limited time we don't have all the time in the world to like pontificate about council culture and all this sort of nonsense we have to actually earn a living so the times that you are available or you have up you have free to do you know your leisurely activities or whatnot or your extracurricular activities you you know you take it you take that time pressure you make that you, you that time is precious to you you make the most out of it um whatever it may be like what most of us do i'm sure you see a headline online you read the article because usually the headlines aren't really reflective of the article because if i'm not mistaken most sites that write news they have a separate person that writes headlines and they're really good at that right they're really good at like kind of writing clickbaity headlines that kind of grab your attention but sometimes the people that's writing the op-ed or writing the article is a different person and that's full of the actual facts so you actually read the article and sometimes you feel you sometimes see the article kind of contradicts the headline but you kind of you read it so you're more, more well informed then you might go on twitter and read more information from other people that have you know other experts lending some of their opinions then you might cross-reference some of that stuff and just type into google cross-reference it with other news articles that you've seen it's not hard to be informed everyone can kind of figure it out it's not that difficult um but again millionaire billionaire podcasters who have all the time in the world who have these lives that they think everybody's jealous of can't even make the smallest amount of effort of just double checking things you know just having a quick double check and just seeing if that's true like that kitty little fucking story like really that that story is so crazy i would want to actually see the picture that's what i would do if i was rogan and i heard a story about some kid some fucking um non-binary kid in some college um decided or you know forced their school to install a fucking litter tray in their girls toilets i would want to find out if that's true i'd want to see a picture of it that's how much it will blow my mind i'll be like oh my god i want to see if that's actually real because that would be so interesting to find out 
He makes no effort to cross-reference, no no effort to kind of dig deeper, find out more. He just sees that headline and goes on his massive platform and just blurts it out. It's like, <laughs> come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Exactly, good Natasha. How are you going to repeat a Nigerian story without a quick double check? It's all it is is a quick, just just quickly double check to see if it's true. Because personally, I'd want to see the picture. I'd want to see the fucking picture of that litter tray in that toilet. I don't want to see what it fucking looked like. You know how crazy it looks like, like and where have they put it? Did they put it next to the door? Did they put it next to the fucking bath? You know the um the toilet fucking cubicles. Like where did they put that tray? What color is it? Is it like a a one there to make get made specially? Like a what? Did they did they tape two trays together? Like I want to see it with my own eyes. So the fact that he didn't do the research to fucking see it boggles my mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's play it one more time. This is a fucking great video, man. If you're 40 years old, you got a mortgage, you got kids, you, you, you're working all day, you don't have time. You don't have time to be paying attention to this shit. You know, we're very fortunate that we're comics, that we have the day to do whatever the fuck we want, and we can read things that maybe, you know, we send each other or watch a documentary or something, get a new perspective. But the more... My friend, his wife, is a school teacher. She works at a school that had to install a litter box. <laughs> Imagine how crazy that is. You're a fucking human being and you prefer a litter box? You've conned the school yeah. into putting this fucking litter box in a girl's room. Yeah. Which is bananas. It is. It's absolutely insane. The kitty litter box is a weird one. We should probably clarify that a little bit. I don't think they actually did it. It doesn't seem that there's any proof. By the way, do you guys think Rogan and this lady fucked? <laughs> Imagine how crazy that is. You're a fucking human being. She's giving honey honey advice for me. The way she laughs and smiles at Rogan, she's giving honey honey advice. What do you think? Do you think Rogan fucked? I forgot her name. She's a politician, right? Do you think Rogan fucked this lady? Had a little bit of that, little bit of that Rogan meat. <laughs> what do we think? Did she have a bit of that ro Rogan meat? Uh, Tulsi, Tulsi, is it Tulsi Gabbard? Tulsi Gabbard, right? Gabbard, Gobbard. Do you think Tulsi Gubbard had a bit of that? Do you think she gobbled on some of that Rogan meat? What do you <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think Rogan gobbled her? <laughs> Gabba gobble? What do you think? What do you guys think? Um Tulsi isn't the, isn't that us her name? Yep. Joe's on gender for what? <laughs> what? Gabble gobble.